In this tutorial, I'll be discussing how to enable recording on your NVR client. Uh, the advantage of doing this is you'll be able to keep an off-site backup for your recording on across multiple DVRs. It's basically like a CMS program that allows you to manage up to 64 cameras across multiple DVRs, including IP cameras, and record everything remotely. Um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have enough uh, disk space allocated for your NVR client to record. So I'm just going to exit out of my NVR client program and I'm going to click on start, programs, NVR client, disk management. And I'm going to allocate about let's just say about 80 gigabytes on drive G and no space on any of the other drives so I'm gonna set both the F and the H drive to zero and then each data packet is 256 megabytes so about a fourth of a gigabyte so I want to do 80 gigabytes, so that means I have to set this number to about 320. 80 times 4 is 320. Hit create package. And so this is going to allocate 80 gigabytes on my F drive to be used for uh, recording. It says it has been indexed successfully. Hit exit and I have my G drive open here you can see that this was just created for 80 gigabytes I'm going to launch my NVR software and when you click on setting um, and then record set you'll see that the option to select these windows is grayed out you need to first go to your server IP settings. At the top under system setup, your first option is max record channels. You want to change that from the default value of disable to something else. So let's just say I want, um, I don't know, let's just say 32 cameras to be recording. It'll say modification changes need NVR program restart. You hit OK. Now in addition to adjusting the maximum record channels, I want to be able to add instant playback functionality to the NVR client. So in order to do that, you go down to instant playback max time. The current default setting is disable. I'm going to change that to again this is the maximum amount of time so if you want 10 seconds you can choose that if you want a minute two minutes three minutes and so on you can change it to whatever you want um, I'm gonna make it let's say two minutes so that's gonna be 120 seconds you save exit now I can restart the DV the uh, NVR client software and that will basically save my settings uh, and now I can go into record set and adjust my recording preferences I personally like motion recording on all my windows on all my channels you can choose normal recording by clicking on normal recording and just clicking and dragging your mouse um, and then you would hit copy to all windows save and exit connect all and you see these little icons here in the corner that indicate movement or they don't indicate movement they just indicate recording so on all the cameras where you have enabled recording the first 32 cameras um, you'll see this little clock icon. 
So in the final section of this video tutorial, I'll be explaining how to enable motion recording in your NVR client. Um, you see all these clocks in the upper right corner uh, of each screen and that indicates that you're recording on continuous or normal recording 24-7 or however you have your schedule set up. What we need to do before we change the recording preferences in the NVR client from normal recording to motion recording is to actually adjust a couple settings from the DVR server. So just to increase our bandwidth here, I'm going to shut this down temporarily and I'm going to remote into our demo server. We use Team Viewer here. Some of you may already know that from getting remote support. What you want to do when you first log into your DVR server is click on settings I'm going to optimize the speed here so we can move this a little faster um, from settings you click on PTZ and linkage and this is the default view of this screen. Uh, if you want to be able to send motion alarms to your NVR client so that you can record motion on your NVR client you need to select on motion send email change it from disable sorry not email you need to change uh, the send alarm to client, change it from disable to enable, and then select motion alarm and just click and drag again to get that 24 hour, 7 day a week motion alarm. And lastly, copy setup to all cameras. Once that's been done, you click on exit, save and now you should be ready to go back to the NVR client and change the recording preferences from normal to motion. So now that you've enabled motion recording on the DVR server, it's just a matter of setting up your recording preferences on the NVR client. So you want to click on setting, record set, and then change to motion by selecting motion and click and drag all the way. And don't forget to copy to all windows. Click save and exit. Now when you connect all, you no longer have the clock for normal recording, but you have anytime motion occurs you have uh, the, the normal stick figure icon and right now it looks like we don't really have a lot of motion anywhere but that's what you will have once you do detect any kind of motion within your motion areas. Uh, in order to play back from the MVR client you click on menu local playback and this will load the playback that you've recorded on your local machine for the NVR client. If you wanted to play back footage from the DVR server you will click on playback here. If you have any other questions feel free to contact us at 1-877-DEAL-79 or visit our website at www.edigitaldeals.net. Thank you.